Well, Otto, our driver, he's ready. Look at him. He's always ready. We're leaving Slovenia and we're going to um, go down the western coast, which is the Dalmatian coast. It's beautiful. As you see, the water will change colour and it will go that, um, that aqua colour that you see in the movies. I feel like I'm in the movies. Anyway, we're going down uh, the Dalmatian coast. And um, it's characterised by its good weather, its beaches, its regional seafood and homegrown wine, which oh, I'm looking forward to. And yes, before you ask, the Dalmatian dog breed was named after this Adriatic coastal region of Dalmatia. Well, it was about a four hour drive south from where we were and we're now in Zadar. Uh, this place was voted number one destination in Europe in 2016 um, to visit. So I'm about seven years too late. But anyway, I'm here and well, I would say this is one of Europe's secrets. This is the oldest continuous inhabited city in Croatia. Uh, we're still on the Adriatic Sea. Uh, it's the wider northern Dalmatian region and the city covers 25 square metres or 9.7 miles if you're there. Uh, with a population of over 75,000 people, that was uh, the stats in 2011, so we're a bit behind, but so probably more now. Um, but it makes it the second largest city of the region of Dalmatia and the fifth largest city in the country. And because of its rich heritage, and you'll see the buildings um, over there, they're, they're pretty rich. Um, and who wants to have a boat? You've got to be rich to have a boat. Um, it's uh, Zadar is today one of the most popular Croatian tourist destinations and it's named Entertainment Centre of the Adriatic. There you go. And everyone wants a picture. We all want a picture. Me included, that's okay. Oh, that's a bit rocky. But we got the picture. That's that boat they're all looking for. Now, Zadar has a borderline humid subtropical and Mediterranean climate. So it has mild wet winters and very warm humid summers. So if you're thinking of traveling here, July and August are the hottest months with an average of about 30 degrees Celsius, which we get in uh, Australia, that's where I'm from. Uh, but still, it, that is hot. Now right here, we are at the Sea Organ. This is a unique monument in uh, Zadar that you'll actually hear before you see it. It was designed by architect Nicola Bussi and it represents an attempt to communicate with nature via sound. In fact, it's really hard to actually see, um, see the Sea Organ uh, if you don't know what you're looking for. This monument um, consists of polyurethane tubes that are hidden behind the stone steps um, that descend into the sea. 
and when you're looking around you'll notice small openings in the stone and, and that's where the sound is coming from. So however you can hear this monument when you're much further away. Now the same designer did something else here and they call it Greeting to the Sun. The Greeting to the Sun is a popular monument that was, um, as I said, designed by same, uh, Nicola Bussi, and it ties in with the sea organ. This monument stands on what is called the Rivas Pier, and it represents an attempt to communicate, not with sound, but with natural light. Uh, and it's only inches away from those polyurethane tubes. Now this monument consists of lead circles which represent the planets of the solar system and the sun. And the sun is obviously the largest light installation and the other circles um, compared to the sun are, are barely even noticeable. And this, I would say, is one of the best places in the world that I have been to watch the sunset. That's why, well, I think it's a bit of a secret. So not far from the pier, where all the lights and the sounds are, is the old town. Everything is quite close here. Um, it's not the biggest town I've been in. Uh, so it's it's quite good to get around and look everyone loves a selfie and everyone oh, there you go uh, everyone loves a shot of these buildings and uh, there's a selfie everyone loves a selfie especially this group I don't know what it is oh good on you you go girl you go you got it you got it So here we have the uh, Church of St. Donatus, or Donat, as I've seen it written. Um, it was uh, constructed in the 9th century, and it's a Catholic church. I love churches. I don't know why, I just love churches. The Church of St. Donatus, here in Zada, is located in the central part of the history centre of the city. It's on the ruins of an ancient forum, and initially it was dedicated to the Holy Trinity. And from the 15th century, it is named after Bishop Donatus. Now, according to the legend, he most likely had it built in the beginning of the 9th century, as I said earlier. And it was um, first mentioned around 1950 in the work on the administration of the state. So the church is a circular in shape uh, with a double ring and it stands out for its originality and of course the unique shape. So we now head for the piazza and they call this the People's Square because that's where all the people are. So they certainly love their sweets, uh, their ice cream, look at that, that's amazing. I'm sorry about the glare, but I was on the outside and they face the outside. So going inside you wouldn't see the same effect, that, that's just overload, sugar overload, oh my god. But very creative, they're very creative. 
And there's lots of space in this piazza, uh, not as I said, like other European countries, like uh, say Venice, where you just cannot move. Um, it was quite refreshing to be, to have all that space. And we're a little bit out of season, so that's, um, that's another reason I travel out of season. So it's not so uh, busy and it gives you more opportunities. And you always got to get a magnet. I think a lot of people get magnets when they travel. I do got a whole wall of them. So there's a lot of um, uh, local uh, sellers here of, of um, arts and crafts and um, a lot of backpackers, even though it's not that busy. So I still say with everything else that goes on, I love an old town. And this one, totally refreshing because of the space. And uh, so much space, you can do, guess what? A selfie. Everyone loves this at well, not everyone, but a lot of people love selfies. And in this town, you're not gonna knock anyone in the face with holding your arm up. Plenty of room for that there. Yes, you got it, a selfie. And why not, I'll do one too. And thank you, Marina, our local tour guide. Well, I hope you like that. This is, if not Europe's, it's Croatia's secret. This place is fantastic. It's got food, it had music, it had churches, it had the bells and that had this sunset. So tell your friends or just don't tell them, just get here. Zadar in Croatia.